guys welcome back i have to do a quick trip to melbourne this weekend i've got a couple of clients that i have to look after tomorrow and mum is going to come so we're going to have a little road trip and we're going to go to baby bunting and have a look at some prams and like finally actually do some mum things and get organized for our little family on the way i'm going to vlog our little road trip and what mum and i get up to why we're in Melbourne. So we don't have a lot of things yet. A lot of this stuff we are borrowing from friends because we've got a few friends who have already had babies. We've got the bassinet and the little like rocker thing from one of my girlfriends and all these like little swaddles and all these cute little things. Obviously we've still got a lot of things to go. One thing that we really need is a pram. <laughs> so mum and I are gonna look, look at prams and then I'm sure there's a few other things that mum wants to get for herself to have down at her house. Probably haven't mentioned on the vlog yet, but when we built this house, my mum built five doors down. <laughs> We always joked about it's going to be perfect for grandkids and everything like that. And now the time has come. And I'm so grateful that mum is just down the road because we are like so close. And I'm definitely going to need her more than ever just down the road. We're taking the big car, my stepdad's big ute, just because we're not really sure what we're going to buy. And I want to stop off at some furniture shops and have a look at some stuff for the salon in Horsham too. So this will be interesting, us driving the big rig. Mum will drive to Melbourne and then I'll drive once we get to Melbourne. I'm not organized either and I don't have any snacks for the road. So we're gonna have to stop at the servo on the way and pick up some treats. Ready for a road trip? Yes. <laughs> We're actually going to stop in at Ballarat to have a look at Super A Mart. There is a table that I like I've put on my inspo board from there. Afterwards realizing like it's what is it? Oval, not yeah. round. So I just want to go and have a look at it and see if I actually want it. And I thought we'd look today. So then I've got time over the weekend to do some research and find another one. We haven't stopped at a servo. Mum knows me too well. And oh, she packed a snack bag. <laughs> she really knows me too well. Um, so we've got little bags of chippies. So I don't need a big one. Mum's got a healthy bars for her. Two of them. And then this one's for me. <laughs> Yummy! I really want a round table, but it's just so hard to pick. And this is, I think, 1.2, but I think I want bigger. I think I like the size of this one better. I think it's a bit bigger than one point in the baby room. <laughs> oh, we don't know what we're having. <laughs> so we might have to go to the bus. <laughs> this is bunk beds. This is for two. Yeah. This is for the brother. Or sister. Or sister. Now this is cute. That's more our vibe. Of course, mum goes to the baby section. She's more clucky and excited than I am. Oh, I can be now. <laughs> it's so nice to finally have all the news out. We have no more secrets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This one comes in round. Oh, this one does? Yeah. That's cool. I don't know.
to go back to baby bunting on Sunday because I just need to think about the colour. Um, so we're on route to Melbourne and I'm getting a bit hungry so I'm going to have a protein shake. And I'm going to have the strawberry one. This one reminds me of, what is it, Nesquik? My turn to drive the big rig now. into baby bunting in Melbourne just because we thought they might have a bigger variety of prams which they did but turns out the one or the color that I want it's really really hard to get so we're going home with no pram and I'm gonna have to do some googling and try and get my hands on one of these prams <laughs> wish me luck I feel like today's been such a long day with the weather and everything just felt really flat today and then not being able to find the pram that I wanted I'm going to get lost in Google and try and find a table and try and find this pram and we will catch up with you tomorrow on our drive home allergies being pregnant there is only limited antihistamines you can take and the one that I have like I can take them but they say like try not to take them so it's just making it like 10 times worse because I've got my allergies but then I've got nothing that's relieving it so 
I've been having the shittest sleeps. Maybe I should get like an air purifier at night or I don't know. What do other people do when they're pregnant and they have really bad allergies? Like, I just don't know. But first, we need coffee. I'm a little bump out today. In the rainy weather. Oh. Baby bump. <laughs> Baba is definitely going to be a traveller. All this travelling I've been doing with it in my belly. And it just like goes off every time we're in the car. I think it might be the vibration or something like that. It's just like going wild in there. Huh? They're probably going, like, what a travel. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are you doing, mum? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Couldn't even get to the main road from the farm and like look at you and then I like, just had a wet patch. Leaky boobs. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of having children. <laughs> Mud life. So nice to be back home and I'm just gonna chill for the afternoon I'm going to do my washing clean up and get ready for the week ahead thanks for watching this week's vlog don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me on my YouTube journey and also comment below if you have any tips on prams or anything that I need for future mum life I'll see you in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh,